solve pi to the one minus x equals e to the x. Solution. So we have an exponential equation. And since it doesn't seem that we can make the bases the same in an easy way, let's go ahead and just take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of pi to the one minus x, and that's equal to the natural log of e to the x. Now we're going to use a very powerful formula. It's called the power rule for logarithms. So if we have p to the natural log of x, that's the same thing as the natural log of x to the p. So our p here is this piece here. So notice you can just take the little p and put it in the front, which you did here. So take this and put it in the front. So this is one minus x times the natural log of pi. And that's equal to, here this is a very powerful formula. If you have the natural log of e to the x, this is just x. So this goes away and you just get x. Okay, we're looking for x and it's trapped inside these parentheses and there's one over here. So let's start by distributing the natural log of pi. So one times the natural log of pi is just the natural log of pi. And then negative x times the natural log of pi is just negative x times the natural log of pi. And over here we have x. We're looking for x, so we should try to get all of the x's on one side by themselves. So we'll add x natural log pi plus x natural log pi. These go away, so we have the natural log of pi equal to x plus x natural log of pi. So now what we can do is we can factor out the x from both terms on the right hand side. So we have the natural log of pi equals x parentheses, and this is one plus the natural log of pi. So now we can just divide both sides by one plus natural log pi over and then one plus natural log pi. Boom, these go away. And we're basically left with all of this as our solution. So x is equal to the natural log of pi, what a cool answer, over one plus the natural log of pi. That would be the solution to our equation.